What's my favorite burst? It's a good question. I don't think you want to hear my idea about my, my, my response though. Cause like my first thought, <laughs> my first thought was Sing To. Like, Sing To Old does nothing. Sing To Old staggers the, a fucking ruin guard almost. That's not doing nothing. Nanometer said Yelan. Oh, ironically, I don't think Yelan's ult feels good to use. It's too long. Like, what goes into how fun a burst feels to use is, yes, to some extent, the damage that it does, right? But also, pretty significantly, the animation, the speed, and the, the immediate impact, right? And the fact that Singto's burst is so simple, quick, and impactful for Stagger makes it feel so fucking good. It really does. Like, you get, you get the effect instantly, right? You press Q and instantly you get Stagger. Everything else, because of a longer animation, takes a while to do something. And it makes his burst feel really good. Like, it really does. Even though the cast is literally just... Huh! It feels so good, man! Like, I think not a single 5-star burst actually feels good. They would all feel better if they just removed the animation. Personally. Child Q? Okay, Child Melee Q is an exception. That shit feels good to use. Utaos feels good? Meh. It's fine. Alhaitham not bad. I think Alhaitham's burst would feel a lot less bad if it didn't have the delay for infusion. And like, I know that you can use a delay to swap to another character, but I don't know, man. That's cringe. Because you can't use another a burst on another character, otherwise you won't be able to swap back in time. So it has to be a skill. And then you can just get staggered, and then that's cringe as fuck. Because you swap back and you don't have the dendro, and you're like, oh. Oh. So I don't actually like swapping out of him, even though like it's a thing you can do. It just doesn't feel good. Yai's burst feels the worst to use. I think Yai's burst feels good to use until you realize that you have to use E again. But you have to use E again anyways, so it's like, eh. I don't know. It, it's just a consequence on her skill feeling really bad to use. Like, okay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get the tier maker out. How good does it feel to use each character's burst? I think so is number one. For sure. K is gonna go in B. K is really close to being good, but the fact that he doesn't consume his energy until the end makes it so that... Unless you have ping, a lot of the time if you EQ... You catch your particles before you consume your energy. So you're just sitting there like, oh, minus three particles. Well, that's cringe. Well, that's, that's, that's fucking cringe. Child probably goes in A. I think Kazuha goes in A as well. Because, like, it feels good, but it takes too long. Jean's burst is probably the best feeling... Five star burst, honestly. It might be. I feel like it is, yeah. Like, let me. I don't know why it feels so good, but it does. I think it's because it does the damage early and the, the animation's fast. Is the camera? It's not the camera. The camera's a downside. It's just like, Arbatos, the fact that it does the damage before you exit the animation, for some reason, just makes it feel so much better. Ha. And I don't mind the camera. Oh, you know what? We should... The worst feeling burst to use in the game is probably Ayato. Explain? There are a lot of frames after, like, at the end of your burst animation where you are still not in control of your character, but you can get hit and staggered. I think it's the longest in the game. I'm not sure, I think. But, like, he's the character on which I consistently 
get hit after, like at the end of the burst animation, the most often. Same as Nahida. Is it? Nahida's burst is, I don't know, it doesn't feel as bad. But it doesn't feel great either, you're right. I think, you know, you know why Nahida's burst doesn't feel bad? Because I don't fucking use it. <laughs> she goes and see. Lisa burst feels meh. Noelle burst probably goes in B. I think the biggest issue room. with Noelle burst but is just the vile so many teams with Noelle, you end up using one of the like normal attack triggers, like uh, Sing So or Yelan. And the burst being such a long animation for a four star makes you lose procs, which is kind of cringe. Maybe it still makes it to A, though. It's not as cringe as the particle shit with Kea. Amber? This may be a hot take, but Amber's burst feels really good to use. I'm gonna put her in A. The issue with Amber is that her skill fe feels like garbage. It's good until you look at the numbers. I mean, the numbers aren't that bad for a 12 second cooldown burst. They're fine. Like, they're on the low side, but they're not complete garbage. Her issue is her skill, not her burst. Anyways. Um, Barbara. How does Barbara's burst feel? It's too long. It's too long. Sucrose burst? I think it depends, but... I think Sucrose burst feels bad often enough to be in C, unfortunately. Because there's just too many issues it can have, right? The fact that it staggers outwards means that against enemies that can't be pulled, it will ungroup them more than it groups them. And then the infusion can be cringe. I think it feels bad more often than it feels good. Fischl, I think goes in B. The best thing about her burst is that you can swap out of it very, very quickly. The worst thing about her burst is that it effectively doesn't have iframes. But like, you can do this, right? And it's a very fast burst. So you kind of just have to treat it like a skill, right? Because it doesn't really give you iframe. Like, it does, but it doesn't, you know? Mona burst? So here's the thing about Mona, okay? Her burst doesn't feel bad, but her dash feels so bad that it makes her burst feel worse. Because it's a lot of the time you're going to have to dash burst or burst dash. And honestly, it's enough to put her in D for me. <clears throat> Deluke. I think Deluke goes in, like... Middle C. The biggest issue with the Luke is just... Against a lot of enemies, it just knocks them away and you lose more damage than you gain by using it. And it's just crazy. Razor Burst. I think Razor Burst is an S. It feels really good to use. Bennett Burst. I think Bennett Burst goes in bottom A. Because it doesn't feel good instantly. But the follow-up to it, and the additional damage you get out of the burst on your other characters, feels real good. It also has the issue of, are we talking about just the cast of the burst or the whole duration? I think it kind of depends. It's just, overall, how good does it, does it feel to use this ability? You know? Ning? Ning, I think, has a similar issue to, uh, to Mona, where... Her burst isn't the part of her kit that sucks to use. But the part of her kit that sucks to use is important for her burst. Unironically, I think that the burst doesn't like completely whiff often enough for it to make it feel that much worse. What does feel really bad is two things, right? One, how easy it is for your wall to break and therefore for your burst to do half damage. And two, how dog shit it feels to do the charge attack after the burst. And I think because of that, she actually goes in D. Even though the burst itself doesn't feel that bad. It's just everything around, around it, everything the burst is built for just feels like shit. Beto? I think Beto makes it an S. Like, at the end of the day, right? You want a good way to, like, predict how I'm gonna feel about a burst? Go to the interruption resistance slash data page, elemental burst, and sort by poise damage. As a general rule, the higher it is, 
the better it feels. There's a few exceptions, obviously, if there's things around it that feel really bad, right? But bursts that have a lot of poise damage just tend to feel really good, unless there's other issues around them, right? For example, the burst is complete garbage, like Albedo. The burst take three, takes three years to do something, like Zhongli. The burst makes you do less damage, like Diluc. And yeah, I mean, we'll get into that. Kutsing. Kutsing is interesting, because I think I'm going to put her high, right? I think I'm going to put her in A, middle A, probably. And the main reason for it is the fact that she's maybe not the only one, but one of the only ones, and the one where it's the most noticeable, uh, character where you can decide how long your iframes last. Because there's a pretty long period of time at the end of her burst animation where you can input movement or abilities, but your iframes haven't expired until you do. So for example, let me see if I can actually show it well. It might be a bit difficult because there's not a lot of enemies here, but I'm trying my best. Nowhere to hide. See how I didn't take any damage there? Even though the animation was effectively over, I could have moved. If I do the exact same thing, but I attack... As soon as I can... This time I take damage. Because her iframes stop as soon as you input something. Or they expire. But if you don't input anything, you can make them last a pretty long time. Nowhere to hide. Like, effectively, until this, like, the, the, the overall screen isn't dark anymore, right? Because it gets darker when you use the burst. Oh, fucking hell. Cut to the chase. It's just... It makes her burst feel so good to have that skill expression with it, right? To have the ability to like, adapt based on whether the enemies are attacking on or not. Do I use my skill instantly or do I wait a little bit? And so it makes her, honestly, it goes an S. It, 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 it just feels so nice. Changling. So Shanley is one of the very few characters where the burst does feel good, effectively just because it's good. I don't think the animation feels great. It doesn't let you do anything all that crazy. The numbers are just nice. But that's enough to put her bottom of A, I think. Because it does feel that nice. Yeah, you you have decent amount of iframe time, like... It's overall mid, except for the fact that it's just a very strong burst. Chongyun! You know, sometimes I wonder, what if Chongyun had a real elemental? I think his burst feels pretty good to, to use, but it suffers from being bad, right? Like, it's again, it's one of those things where, like, that's cool and all, but part of what makes nukes feel good is when they deal damage, you know? And Chongyun doesn't deal that much damage which makes it feel a bit worse than it could you know i do still think it's a but it's like middle of a honestly maybe not i don't know it maybe it's just high high b i think it's just high b chi chi honestly i don't know i don't have a build chi chi and i never have had a build chi chi and i've never used a build chi chi so fuck that I'm not ranking her. Venti! I think Venti goes to bottom of S. Because there are enemies against which the burst feels really bad. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Because you just don't play him against those enemies, right? I don't think the targeting is much of an issue as long as you don't just press Q randomly. Klee... I don't know, Cleese Burst doesn't feel good to use, honestly. It, it takes, like, it doesn't do anything, like, instantly. It kind of just, I don't know, it doesn't feel good. I think it's one of the olds that, like, 
It's not bad, but it feels really bad to use. What does Cleaver's do? Damage over time, basically. Until you swap out. It's part of why Elon's Burst doesn't feel that good to me. But Elon's Burst has the upside of, like, feeling, actually feeling impactful over time, whereas Klee's Burst, because there's so many numbers on screen, it's, like, less noticeable, you know? And you can use Elon's Burst to enable other shit. Anyways, Diona's Burst, I think, goes in D as well. It doesn't heal anything. It doesn't app. It, like, it, it applies cryo every other hit for some godforsaken reason. They gave her standard ICD on burst. It misses if enemies have, like, any amount of elevation. Because instead of aiming, like, at the ground where they are, it just aims at their physical hitbox. So if they're above the ground, it'll just aim way past them. As if they move, like, at all. And, like, even when it does what it's supposed to do, it doesn't feel... Like, it, it does basically nothing. It, it doesn't feel good. I don't like it. Zhongli! So, the thing about Zhongli's burst is there are parts of it that feel really good. The Petrify feels really good, and the animation does look great. But, and again, right, like, this is... This is how they feel to me, not how they'll feel to everyone, right? But to me, doing things that are literally just worse than not doing anything do not feel good. It doesn't feel good to use a burst when I do more damage if I just didn't use it. There are some teams where you can use his burst without it being a DPS loss. And in those teams, the burst feels really good most of the time. But even then, the animation is very long. I think overall, I'm gonna put him bottom of A. Because in the right situations, it does feel really good. But the fact that it is just a bad burst, it, it, it keeps him out of S. Honestly, top of B, even. Shinyan. Shinyan bottom of B. It's kinda nice, but it's so bad. Albedo. Man. So here's the thing about Albedo, okay? Unironically, if you are to actually use it, like if you have to use it for iframes or whatever, right? It is unironically one of the bursts that feel the best to use in the game. But, it's so fucking bad that you feel guilty using it, you know? Because it's so fucking dog shit. And so... Because of that, I think he's gonna go top of C tier. And it's, it's weird because it's like, it feels so good to- like, unironically, right? The fact that it has high poise... Maybe, maybe bottom of B. Ganyu. Okay, so the thing about Ganyu, okay. It does not feel as bad as Ayato. Alright, I'll get that out of the way. And the main reason for that is because you only really use it in freeze teams, and it's in freeze teams, enemies are frozen. Okay? I don't even know if it has the same issue of iframes expiring before you can move. And in those freeze teams against content that it's tailored for, it feels really good. However... It feels pretty bad in melt teams, and even in freeze teams, there are situations where it doesn't feel too great. And because of that, I think she's gonna be middle of C. So far, the only two five stars in S are Jean and Venti, which kind of makes sense. Shao? Is Shao in D? No, he's in C. It's just the way that- it feels so- how do I- why did we skip Chi Chi? Because I've used Chi-Chi's Burst like twice in my life. <laughs> so, Xiao is just so... His Burst is... It feels good to jump. Kinda? Yeah? But the Burst itself just doesn't feel good to use. It's the kind of Burst where like... If all your Burst does is give you a buff... It needs to be short. And the animation is just too long. You know? I guess it's not that long. Maybe bottom of B. I don't know. Fine, I'll put it bottom of B, whatever. Hu Tao Burst. Probably bottom of A. It just, it feels pretty nice. I think the biggest issue with Hu Tao Burst is if you're using it instead of charge attacks during your uptime, it feels bad because you're not doing charge attacks. 
And if you're doing it at the end of your uptime, it can feel bad because it's a lot easier to miss the vape. And very often I find myself just not vaping her burst because of that. Which obviously feels bad. <laughs> Rosaria. Chad, I don't know if you guys knew, but Rosaria's burst has the same issue as Ayato's burst. I think it's the only five star that has that issue. Where you can get hit before you can move. Like your iframes expire before you can actually input movement. It doesn't feel as bad because you don't get a camera change and the amount of frames where you can't move and your iframes are gone is a lot lower, right? So it's not going to be in D, I'm telling you that right now. But off the top of my head, this is the only fo the, the only four star that has that issue. I guess other than Fischl kind of, but Fischl doesn't really count because you can still move, right? And you can swap. But yeah, other than Fischl, I guess. She also yeets it off of ledges sometimes, that is true. But that is, that's funny enough that like it, it's not a downside. But I think she goes in C, bottom C. One of the worst feeling four star bursts for sure. Yunfei, bottom B, I think. Kind of just exists. I don't, I don't feel strongly about it either way, honestly. All right, this fucking, all right. Ayla's burst is like, it's hard. Cause it's like, if the animation wasn't fucking, what is it, two point something seconds, it would probably be pretty solidly an A. But this animation is just so fucking long, man. At least because she has built-in resistance to interruption, you don't get staggered right after. And the big hit is serotonin. So I think she's gonna get to B. But the animation being as long as it is and the cooldown not starting until the animation is over feels so bad. The fact you can't pre-funnel feels so bad. Especially because her like best combos usually do EQ, right? Because you want to start with two stacks of your thing. You don't want to have to do the top E during, during her thing, right? Unless that's changed, but I mean, uh, whatever. And then you see these particles that you can't pre-funnel. And you're just like, man. Anyways, uh, Ella, I think, goes in, like, middle of B. At the end of the day, it has the same issue as Kaya, right? With the pre-funnel. But Kaya can still pre-funnel. And the animation is shorter, so it feels better. Ayaka Burst. Ayaka Burst goes, I think, top of A tier. Because it feels good, except the few times when it just feels really bad. Yeah, if it hit, like, very reliably, it would probably be S. But it doesn't, you know? Yoimiya? I think it's bottom C, higher than Rosaria. It's not as bad as... Because, yeah, it's a, it's a dog shit burst. But I think the animation and, like, just the impact of it feel fairly nice. So it's still not in D, I think. But yeah, it doesn't feel that bad. Sayu Burst. I don't have anything to say about Sayu Burst. It's, it's Sayu's Burst. I, I don't know. Raiden Burst. Raiden Burst in D tier, because you should never use it. True! Any hyper bloomers in chat? <laughs> no, no. Realistically, probably middle of A. Uh, probably better. Feels better than Noel, but worse than Child, I think. S easy? Nah. It doesn't even do the damage instantly, which is, I don't know, it doesn't feel that good. Sarah. Honestly, I think Sarah is an A. Because Sarah is bad, but her burst is good. She's bad because she doesn't have a skill, right? Because, like, you get the attack bonus from the burst. So it's effectively kind of as if it was the burst. And then her skill doesn't do anything. C4 burst feels nice. C0 Sarah is not a real unit. Sarah, Sarah, if she is not C6, in my heart, does not exist. So I am ranking her at C6. Kokomi. Hmm, that's interesting. So the thing about Kokomi's burst is, if you don't refresh your jellyfish, it feels really bad. But that's a skill issue, right? And when you do refresh the jellyfish, it feels good. The fact that it's 2U actually feels impactful in a lot of situations. I think overall... It's gonna go high B, but nothing more. Alloy is not a real unit. Toma! Okay, you know what? Toma is not... Okay. I think Toma's burst, if not for the issue I'm about to bring up, would probably be high A. But because of the issue I'm about to bring up, is gonna be in B tier somewhere. Probably like here. 
And here is the issue, okay? Here is the issue. Personally, right, I don't really play Tomo in hyper carry teams. It's mostly in the EM teams, right? And I don't have a Kitane, but I've done a lot of testing with him on Kitane. And it just feels so bad having to burst skill on a character that's energy hungry because you kind of want to stay and catch the skill particles. But you can't skill burst because you have Kitane and it's going to fucking yoink your energy and you won't be able to burst until you catch the particles and then you lost all your particles. So, unironically, Toma goes down one tier literally just because of Kitane bullshit. Unironically. Ito, I'm gonna be honest, bottom B. Kinda like Shao. Goro, middle C, honestly. It doesn't feel great. It's fine. Shenha, probably middle B. It feels fine, but nothing crazy. Yunjin. So here's the thing about Yunjin, okay? Her burst does feel good to use the first time you use it. And then you need the energy for the second one. And that's that's where it starts feeling less good. Uh, I do think it does feel actually pretty nice to play, so I'll still put it somewhere in B, I think. But I think it could be, like, high A if she didn't have energy problems. Yai! Yeah, Yai goes and like, takes too long. Then you have to reuse your skills. You have to use it at the end of your skill cooldown or, or at the end of your skill up time or it's cringe. And then if you don't time it right, you don't do any damage and then it's a... Alright, Yelan. And I think oh, for a lot of people, Yelan is, is their favorite burst to use. So, th this is gonna be, this is gonna be a hot take as fuck. But, um, I don't like using Yelan's burst. I think every time I use Yelan's burst, it makes me wish it was Singto instead. Because it's so fucking long, man. Why is the animation so fucking long? Why? 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 Why did they make it do that? Why? I know why, okay? Like, they want you to be able to, woo, wow, Yelan, looking, woohoo, haha. But, like, imagine if it was as fast as Singso's burst. Imagine how much better it would feel. Is it the overall burst? Yes, it is the overall burst, but how it feels when you press Q is a very significant portion of the overall burst. It goes for a lot of bursts, yes, but a lot of bursts aren't just a fucking copy-paste of another character's burst, right? Like, when Xiao's burst is long, I don't feel like, oh, I wish this was Singto's burst instead. Because it's just so different from Singto's burst that it, like, it, it, it I, I, that's not where my brain goes. But when I use Yelan's burst, that is where my brain goes, you know? I think it's still A. It's either bottom A or high B for me. I think it's high B. Feels like 4-star will score higher. Yeah, 4-star bursts tend to feel better to use than 5-star bursts. Because they're shorter. Don't really understand the ranking. Sometimes you put one higher for nice animation. The next time you say it takes too long. Yeah, because how nice the animation is and looks matters. And how long the burst takes also matters. But they'll matter differently based on the character. Because, well, in this case, there is a literal one-to-one -one comparison. Very, very, that, that my brain makes, even if I don't want it to, between Yelan and Singso that happens every time I use... Either of them, right? But yeah, like, my brain makes the comparison between Yelan and Singto because their bursts are so similar, and that's why it matters a lot to my enjoyment of it that it's just so much longer. Two bursts that last the same amount of time when one of them is significantly longer than the other. Or sorry, two bursts that last the same amount of time when one of them is basically the same as another burst that lasts a lot less time. That one, I'll notice it more. It'll make me feel worse when using it that it's taking longer. What's your argument for Venti? Um, Venti's burst often feels like shit, but when Venti's burst feels like shit, you don't put Venti on your team. So Venti's burst does not often feel like shit. Because when it would feel like shit, he's not on the team. Or you just don't use it, even if he is on the team. Because those burst is so fast, it feels like an elemental skill, yeah. It, 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 it feels so nice to use. The fact that it happens so fast and has so much stagger 
is just so nice. It really is. Cookie Burst. D. Does not feel good to use. Hazel Burst. I think Hazel Burst is actually an A. Like, it's not all that good, but unlike some of the other bursts that are not all that good, it doesn't have an 8-hour animation. So it's still optimal to use it. It's just... It's not an insanely good burst, right? All right, Tainari. This is one of the, uh, uh, this is a, a good example of a burst that is fairly long, but it doesn't make it feel bad. I think he's probably high B because his burst animation is fairly long, but in the sort of teams where I play him, the burst animation makes it so that your E comes off cooldown instead of being on a two second cooldown. Like it, it, it gives you something to do during that time. It feels like it's time being spent efficiently. Whereas if the animation was instant, you just use burst and then wait for two seconds, right? Cole burst. Cole burst feels nice until you remember it's special ICD. D for don't remind me it's special ICD. Dory's burst. D for don't remind me it's special ICD. Sino. I think Sino's interesting because it feels fine. I think it feels pretty similar to characters like Shao and Ito, honestly. That's, that's, yeah, sure. I mean, at C6, it feels fine. In Nilo teams, it can even feel good. And I guess you don't play her outside of Nilo teams. I I'll put her bottom. Nilo's burst. See. I'm not as bad as this. Probably here. It's not, I don't know. Lila Burst. Lila Burst is kind of just whatever. Don't have much to say about it. It is what it is. Wanderer Burst. Okay. Wanderer Burst, if it was, like, good, I think might be one of the very few S's for the five stars. But because it's not very good, it makes it feel a bit worse. And I think that's enough to bring it, like, middle, if not bottom, A. Maybe, like, here. Farazon in D for d d don't have enough energy retard. Alhytham. Alhytham's burst feels like dog shit to use. It feels so fucking bad. Like, three mirror Alhytham burst feels good. You're right. Which is a shame because it's dog shit to use and you should always do zero mirror. If, if, if they released Alhytham in his original beta state, with the weaker skill, but the stronger burst. I think Alhytham would be solidly in high A. But that's not what happened. So a 3 mirror burst is bad. So he goes in like, high C. How did Alhytham work previously? He worked the same way, it's just his burst dealt a lot more damage. And his skill dealt a lot less damage. He overall dealt a similar amount of damage. But was a lot better if you did like hold e plunge get two mirror procs use burst and then swap out like it was a lot better in quick swap teams where you actually use a three mirror burst yeah the mechanics were the same yeah it's just that the three mirror burst wasn't dog shit yao yao burst i think in a high b it's just fun it's just the fact that you're just jumping around aimlessly is just funny to me. Hey, you know what? That's enough for A. It's just funny. Daya Burst. So, if Daya Burst was not... Like, if Daya was not complete garbage, it would be S. I think it's probably the best feeling infusion slash whatever, like, thing that you use and then have an uptime where you do shit in the game. But it's just so fucking garbage that it makes it feel worse, right? Because at the end of the day, a very important part of how it feels, how fun it is to do something, is how if the enemies are dying or just fucking looking at you funny. You know? And so because of that, it's gonna go in bottom of B. Mika. I think middle of C. Burst doesn't do anything. But like it does, but it doesn't. Why doesn't it do any damage? Like even if it was 1%, like why? It's just weird. I don't like it. You know? Baiju Burst. Bottom A. It feels pretty good to use. Kave Burst feels pretty bad to use. Bottom, eh, yeah. Bottom of C. Lynette Burst. That's not Lynette, that's Kirara. If they... Lynette Burst. Um, 
I don't know. Middle of B. I don't care, man. Uh, Kirara burst. I don't know. Middle of B. I don't care, man. Linny burst. I A. Feels better to use than Raiden, worse than Child. It just feels really nice. Femina burst. B. Because it's pretty fun, but it's dog shit. Nevilet burst. Unironically. C. It's not a very pleasant burst. What's fun about Nevilet is his charge attack, and his burst lets you do charge attack, but if you could get the charge attack without pressing Q, it would feel better. I don't know, the burst just doesn't feel impactful. Grizzly, kind of like Wanderer, I guess, but like, also kind of worse. Bottom of A, whatever. I don't know, middle B. I don't, I don't know, I don't care. Farina. I think Farina's burst feels pretty decent to use. It's not like insane great, but it goes A. It's like, it's kind of similar to Bennett, right? Where like, the burst itself doesn't feel that impactful when you use it. But the damage that you get from the burst feels really nice after you've used it, right? Charlotte, I, I like Chi Chi. I don't think I've actually ever used her burst, so I can't. Yeah. And then characters that are not out yet. So that's that's what we got. That's what we got. These are the six characters whose burst I have the most fun using in the game. I should order them properly, just in the just in the first year. I think. I think it's like this. Do do do.